Hey there, Bill in for Tom at noon hour here, and we are looking at well, an improving afternoon for us. Good summer afternoon. Lexington Financial Center, your St. Joseph Health weather bug camera. We got a lot of decorator cumulus clouds out there for you this afternoon. That's left over from the big storms that rolled through southern Kentucky last night. Max Track Live Doppler, we had them all with it last night, and they were again really hugging the area south and southwest, but now everything is quiet, and we'll stay that way now for a couple of days. These are the storm reports from last night. You can see it again across the southern half of the area. Uh, you have some back toward Bowling Green. You've got a cluster over there by Jackson. Uh, you've got several in Pulaski County, Wayne County, McCreary, Whitley County as well. Uh, tree damage for a lot of these, so tree branches had come down uh, as far north as Eubank, and again, that clustering up around Jackson and there in Breathitt County. That was one facet of the storm. The other, the heavy rain. Look at that corridor from southern Kentucky here. Uh, you get down below Monticello. These are radar estimations. So this is not what fell in the rain gauges, although somebody's rain gauge probably got it. But the radar estimations of a half foot of rain. Southern part of Wayne County going into Clinton as well uh, toward uh, Burksville there. Uh, you got another batch of heavy rain, Liberty, on up toward Lebanon. That was from some of the earlier storms. But how quickly you go from the really heavy rain to really not quite so much. Mesonet helps tell that story as well. So you've got that swath of really heavy rain. Again, another one around Liberty back to around Lebanon, but you get much north of Highway 52. There wasn't much that went on last night, although Lexington south side, we picked up a tenth of an inch, and that was at the Mesonet site at Man Award Nicholasville Road. Jackson picked up over an inch of rain, so did Barberville. But again, McKee only three tenths. Stanford didn't record anything. All right, so last night's storms on a cool front. We kind of hesitate to use that term because it's still going to be about 90 today, but the humidity's lower. We've got a torrid weekend on tap for you and a little bit of a pattern change next week. Rain is actually a part of it. And the rain actually has been pretty decent over the last couple of weeks. I watched those storms assemble last night. That turned into a mesoscale convective system. That was basically a, a cluster of thunderstorms that turned and then dove down I-75 toward Atlanta. But now everything has cleared out very nicely here. High pressures building in that northwest flow follow the isobars. And that means we have dried things out at least a little bit, but it's still this is coming off a very hot air mass out here. So it's just hotter and drier than what we had been seeing earlier. Speaking of dry, good news. New U.S. drought monitor came out this morning. Most of the area, at least for the moment, has left the drought. You get west of 127, though, boiled down into Casey County. It's still going into category two, which is the moderate drought category. But again, for a large chunk of the area, we have improved dramatically in the last few weeks. Still upper 70s across the south. A few more clouds. Hazard at 77, Jackson 78, where the sun's more prevalent. Lawrenceburg's 84, Frankfurt's 85. Bluegrass Airport at the moment, we have warmed considerably. 85, dew points down in the upper 60s. It's still humid, but not really the mugginess that we endured yesterday. So your heat index comes in at 88. You're talking about well, temperatures today that will get into the upper 80s or getting close to 90 there uh, this afternoon. And over the next few days, you're talking the heat coming in. How about upper 90s on the air temperatures? Heat index values are headed into the 100s. Not today. Partly to mostly sunny, still hot, but less humid, right around 90. Upper 60s tonight, mainly clear, a mild night, really a good summer night. Mid 90s tomorrow, hot, but really not humid yet. Save that for the weekend when Saturday we're in the upper 90s. Uh, you see those lows in the 70s, that means it's really sticky. Upper 90s again Sunday, but look at the rain chances as we cool off next week. 